What is up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you some really useful Chrome extensions that will either save you a lot of time or just make your life a whole lot easier when working on a Shopify store. I'm going to start with the most simple extensions and then progress to the more advanced and technical ones. So let's begin. The first one I want to show you is called Colorzilla. This is simply a color picker. Nothing crazy about it. You just click the color picker. You can have a look at your competitor websites or just other websites for design inspiration and see what color they are using. Just click anywhere to copy that color code to the clipboard. But it's not just useful for other websites. It's useful for your own site as well, because I know for a fact that there are many situations in which you're not sure if a color looks correct. It doesn't look exactly the same as a color that I set elsewhere on the page. And that's because it's just an illusion. You can't really trust your eyes all the time in web design. So you need a color picker. Now, another thing I like to use a color picker for is when you're designing a website and you just just need a basic color scheme to start with, you can actually grab the color from the product images. So here we have the blue product packaging, and I can click anywhere on this um, packaging. And as you can see, it's kind of a gradient, it's giving me different shades of blue. And all of these shades of blue are going to work really great with these product images. So that's a quick design life hack for you. Grab your color scheme from your actual product images. Okay, so the next tool that I want to show you is called what font. And I use this for pretty much the same reasons as the color picker tool. It's mostly to look at design inspiration. So first of all, when you look at another website that you like, and you want to see what font they're using, you can click the what font icon and then whatever you hover over, it'll tell you what font that is. And when you click again, you will see more information about that font, like if it's normal or italic, the font weight like bold or regular, which would be 400, then the size, the line height and the color as well. But it's not only for getting design inspiration, it's also for working on your own site. So sometimes you will have set the typography across your site, but something doesn't look right, or something's too small, too big. Uh, you're not sure if headings are the same sizes, right? So you can also use this on your own site to check, for example, that my H1 is 40 pixels, I will know that. I will know that my regular paragraph is 16 pixels and that small text like sold out is 12 pixels, right? And that just might help me a little bit during the theme customization process when you're setting up a new site. Okay, so this is going to be the last one that isn't like specifically a Shopify focused Chrome extension. Um, but I think that this is really important and underrated. This extension is Grammarly. You might be already using it and that's great. But if you're not using it, then think about it like this. Your website is basically made up of images and text. Text is a very big and important part of your website and good writing is what converts people to buy your product. It's what convinces them. It's what persuades and informs. First of all, there's nothing worse than having a spelling mistake when you're trying to make a serious point like at the end of a sentence, or even worse in your call to action buttons, because then you just sound kind of dumb and you lose a lot of your customers trust, I think, or you lose some authority, right? But Grammarly is not just a spell checker, it can actually help you write your product descriptions, and it can help you write your promotional text on the homepage, it can also help you make your text more concise. So it can shorten it. And that's quite important when you're writing for a website because you want to make text very concise for all the little blocks and the little columns that it's going to fit into you don't want long walls of text on your website. So yeah, I just really recommend Grammarly because it can help you write better and it'll make the text on your website a lot better, a lot more effective. Okay, so now we're getting into some of the more interesting and unique Chrome extensions that are specifically for Shopify. And this next one I want to show you is called Koala Inspector. And yeah, this is one of those tools that lets you spy on your competitors, I guess. It's not really spy because it's not showing something that's like secret, right? But go on a competitor's website, click on the extension and it opens up and it'll tell you what theme they're using, or it'll at least tell you what they've named that theme because you can rename themes in Shopify. It'll tell you also some of the apps that they are using. Now pay attention to the fact that the first four will be ads. So this store is not actually using these apps. But 
um, it is using these following apps and I can confirm that as well because this is actually the store of one of my clients. So I know everything about this store and yes, indeed, they are using these apps. The next thing it shows you is um, some information about the products. And this part, I actually really like it. It's quite useful for your own store as well, because in Shopify, for some reason, um, it's not easy to see how many products you have on your store, is it? There isn't any place on the dashboard that gives you an actual product count. So this is already really useful and I can confirm that that is the correct number of products on this store. And then below that, that is indeed the highest price product on this store and this is the cheapest product on this store. And then from these two numbers, it just gives you an average price. Now, as we go further down this menu, uh, you'll see things that are specifically for uh, drop shipping research. So I don't know that much about drop shipping, to be honest. So I won't comment that much on this. And also, of course, like all of these spying apps, they don't always have all the data. So you'll find that on some screens, you just don't have any data, but at least for like the products and the, you know, what apps they're using and stuff, this can be quite useful. Okay. And the next extension that I want to show you just really quickly, cause it does pretty much the same thing is called Shopify app detector by Farah.ai. Go on a website, click on the app and it'll show you what theme that website is using and it'll also show you some of the apps that they're using. Now I just use this together with Koala Inspector because sometimes Koala Inspector will show certain apps that this app doesn't show and sometimes this app will show certain apps that Koala Inspector did not detect, right? So I just use both of them in combination and also uh, this app is kind of smart with its theme so it knows that this Shopify store is running a variation of the prestige theme and it's just been renamed to prestige Shopify 2.0 with filters app. Whereas Koala Inspector just tells you what the app has been renamed to. This one actually guesses what the original theme was. Now this next one is actually my personal favorite because it's gonna make my coding tutorials a lot easier for you guys to follow. First, I'm gonna give you a little example. If you're watching one of my coding videos, and say, for example, you want to edit this collapsible tab here. I'll usually say something like you need to find which file this collapsible tab code is in. And so you'll be going into your theme editor by going to actions, edit code, and you'll be like playing this guessing game of which, which one of these files contains that collapsible tab code. Now, if you're using Dawn theme, then I'll tell you that it's probably main product.liquid. But if you're using a different theme and trying to follow my tutorial, then you don't know the name of that file. You've got to go looking. Now, that's where this Chrome extension comes in. It's called Shopify theme file search by Easyfy. And when you add it to Chrome and then you go into your theme editor, you get this additional search box at the top. Now we can search for any snippet of code, any word, any portion of text, and it's going to search the entire theme. If you're thinking that that's what this Shopify search does, no, it's not. This only searches for like the name of the file, right? It doesn't search for text inside of the file, but this extension lets you search for text inside of the file. So what we can do is if we're looking for this collapsible tab code, we're just going to click right click and click inspect so that in Chrome, we can find kind of what this this like container div or like what it's called really any portion of code relating to this accordion. So we can see that it's called product underscore underscore accordion, this class name. And then what we can do is search for that using this extension. And now it's going to highlight in blue any files that contain that bit of code. So main product dot CSS that contains the styles for the collapsible tabs and main product dot liquid would be the main HTML. Now we click on this file and now we can press command F or control F and use the normal uh, Shopify search to once again, search for that bit of code. And now we've very easily in like 30 seconds found the code that we want to edit. This used to be kind of a problem for many people following my tutorials, but with this Chrome extension, it's not going to be a problem at all. So you'll see this Chrome extension featured in my future tutorials as well. 
Now the next two Chrome extensions are going to be really useful, mainly if you're a Shopify developer or a store owner and you're duplicating your store. You might want to duplicate your store for a couple of reasons. First reason is maybe you're building a wholesale store and you need it to look exactly the same and have the same products as your main store. Uh, the second reason is that maybe you're creating a localized store in another country and they both have to look pretty much exactly the same. So the first Chrome extension is called download all images. And uh, that's literally what it does, right? It downloads all the images on a web page. And this is really useful specifically for Shopify because downloading the images can be a pain when you're creating new products or when you're recreating the home page, for example, in that second store, right, you have to actually download or save all of these images and then re upload them through the theme editor in the new store. And the problem with Shopify is that if you right click and click save image as you don't know what version of that image you're getting because Shopify actually does something called scaling, it changes the size of images, depending on the device that you're on. And also like, and just the width of your screen, you don't know that you're getting the highest quality version of that image. And also, it's just going to take a really long time to download all the images across the site, you can use this extension, it's this little one called zip, you simply click that, and it's going to download all those images really quickly. And then you can save them as a zip. And when I open up that zip, then I have all of those images. And I have each of those images in various sizes. So it's actually going to say on the end of the image file, the size of that image. So we can see that 180 x 360 540. And basically, we want the largest one. 2048 by 2048 pixels, right? And that's the one that we would use when we're dragging these images into the theme editor for that duplicated site. Now this next app is called Shopify navigation tool. And it addresses one of the most annoying things for me in Shopify. And that is the fact that you can't export and import your navigation. So on some websites, you might have an extremely large and complex navigation, like if it's a mega menu, for example, and look at this website, for example, we have, you know, cheese, pasta, risotto sauces, but inside each one of these, we have sub collections made with cashews, rice, almonds, chickpeas, and then inside each of those, we have links to individual products. And to actually recreate this entire navigation manually, on the duplicated site, for example, on the wholesale site, um, it would take maybe half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, maybe an entire hour of like, copying and pasting. That's where Shopify navigation tool comes in, click the button, and it allows you to export that navigation, it saves it onto your computer as a .json file, that just means kind of like a Excel spreadsheet. And then you can go to a completely different store and import that file. So this is that file that it's created. And I'm just going to click open. And there we go. It's completely recreated that entire navigation for me with all of those sub collections. Now, the thing is that on this particular store, I don't have these products, I don't have these collections. So the link is going to be replaced with just a hash symbol like that. But still, this is way better than having to remake this individually. Now I just have to go through and just relink the products. The final Chrome extension that I want to show you is called SEO Minion. This is kind of a general SEO tool. I'm not going to go too in depth into SEO because I can make an entire new video on SEO and I will do that. And I'll cover a lot of SEO tools in that one. But SEO Minion is a Chrome extension that I just like to use for just basic checking of my pages, right, just like a super quick audit. So for example, I can just go onto my homepage here on my dev store, I click on SEO minion, and I would analyze on page SEO. Now this will immediately show me that oh, no, the um, meta description is empty, I forgot to fill out that meta description. So I would go back into my store, go to online store, preferences, and I would fill out that meta description, it would also tell me that my title isn't very good. 
um, and that I can definitely elaborate a little bit here. The next thing that it shows me, I've just gone to a product page now, but it'll show me the heading tags. And here it's actually showing that I have two H1 heading tags on this page, which is incorrect. This is in fact the title of this page and the word contact is definitely not the title of this page. So this could be confusing for Google. It could think that this is the contact page. So this is like alerting me that, you know, I have to fix this second H1. Another thing you can pretty quickly do is check for broken links. That's pretty important because Google doesn't like broken links on your site. It's not good for any other links on your site to go to a 404 page. So you should always check for broken links and just fix that up quickly. Like I said, there's a lot more that I can say about SEO. This probably isn't the tool that I would use in like a very professional context. It's just like a really quick one. The tool that I actually use is called Screaming Frog, but this isn't a Chrome extension. It's actually a desktop app. All right, and that's all guys. I think that's it for this video. If you found value in the video, please leave a like because that lets me know that you want more videos of this type. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.